Welcome to 10 Raw Games. I'm Dan. I'm Nick. I'm Neil. And this is the continuation of our Metal Gear series. And we're still in the opening sequence here. Yep, this is part 37 of our series here. Yes, and we're still in uh, Prologue B. Uh, that's of Prologues A through Q, I believe. Oh, yes. look, look at the picture of the ship. My god, is that actually a picture of the ship? Yep. <laughs> Man, this game. Laying it on thick and deep. Yep. Subtlety is not the name of the game here. Yeah. Yeah, just crawl. Wow. We'll do. He wants ah. us to pretend we're dead. <laughs> you just started walking and now he's telling you to crawl again? <laughs> it's alright. Moby Dick is a book about obsession. How, like, he searched to, you know, find the whale that once challenged him, destroyed a man, basically. Which is, I assume, the only message we can be drawing from this massive number of references to the book here. So I assume this is going to be a movie, or a game about obsession and a self-destructive need to prove yourself against some antagonistic force. Mm, much like Moby Dick. Yes. Yeah. Much like the book that they are referencing constantly. Oh, hey, I just... And friendship as well, by well, the way. Yeah, friendship was a big too. part of Moby Dick was yeah, friendship. Yeah. And also... And when whales. Yes, whales. <laughs> whales. Except of the chapters about how to dissect whales, the bone structure of whales, whales the, sinews, the many uses of the fat of whales and the oils, how to make all sorts of meals out of whales. Mm -hmm. That book really loves whales. The history of whales, yep. all whales and whales. all mythology. The economy of whales. Yep. The various uh, tactical decisions you make while whaling. Yep. 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 After I read that book, I wanted to actually hunt whales, or I just had a, a whole new respect for whales. Does that have a fucking... I didn't even call them whales after that. I just called them Leviathan afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just pee himself? Oh, he's listening, looking less heroic. You just piss yourself? Yeah, I mean, like it zooms in on him peeing himself. Oh no, what is going? Oh, oh god damn it, Ishmael! Can you hold your shit together. That's a lot of water. Oh no, no something's going on. No, it's a oh, saline bag. I say, yeah. He just looked at me while I moved my head. Uh, damn it! You couldn't keep still. <laughs> Oh, he's oh, definitely God. not keeping still. <gasps> oh! Whoa! What the fuck, dude? I have no idea what's going on in this game. Oh, I thought this game was about, God. like, the industrial military complex. And, and I told you that it can't help also being about massive pyromancers and yeah. psychic flying guys. Every game, it just gets more and more, like, the, the, the villains weird. get, like, ridiculous more yep, and more. Yep. So what, so what was the, the Metal Gear Solid then? There were psychics in it or something? Metal Gear Solid Psycho Mantis was the only one who was, um... Like crazy and out there. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could flow, you could read your mind. I mean, um, there, were, like, there, there are other enemies who were ridiculous, but they were no. I mean, like, like what's they were realistically ridiculous. Like uh, the like what the fox guy? Which fox? They're, they're all part of Fox Town. Okay, the, the the ninja who was crazy powerful. Oh, Gray Fox. Gray Fox. Yeah, he, yeah. he was pretty superhuman. Well, that's because the, he was he wasn't a human anymore. He was a cyborg ninja. Okay, so that's kind of outside of the reality of a military industrial complex. Now. Well, in the future though. They also oh, had yeah, a giant cyborg ninjas. robot that shot nuclear missiles out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. If you can do that, you can totally have cyborg ninjas, right? So anyway, what we're getting from this is uh, a oh man, awesome. And, oh great, uh, now my legs broke. Oh wonderful. And B, it doesn't seem like the cyborg or the the psychic floating guy and Mr. Pyro over here are on the same side as the military dudes. Yeah, clearly they're not on the same side as the military. They are not friends. And they're not a hallucination of the digoxin. Unless this entire sequence is hallucinated, hallucinated. But yes. no, you're, you're so, okay, yeah, he, he sees what's going on, they actually exist. He's just like in a mall in Fresno, yeah. freaking out, he thinks what's going on. That's like the devil, right? He had two horns there, you saw that, yeah? Oh, yeah. wow, that's been a lot of missiles. I guess if you're trying to kill a demon, six is probably a good number of missiles yep. to use. Seems actually conservative if you're killing a demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you're in right. In fact, yep. 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 yep, yep, Seven would be the magic number. Yes. Or no, it's like a thorny crown, or is it... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's oh, one. definitely one. Dad, yep. He just tossed his fireballs, too. God. Well, I guess there's a red whale. I mean, if you're a demon who literally summons lens flare, one of the most powerful weapons in the video game library, yeah. then <laughs> yeah. you don't have to worry about a measly helicopter. He does look rather heavy and slow, though. Yep, he's just he's one of those on him? indomitable enemies. Who just slowly yeah, it looks like he's wearing uh, a, like a bullet belt. Yeah. Seems a unnecessary. A bandolier, possibly? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. like how that guy shot missiles at him. Like, yeah. You think your pistol's gonna work <laughs> The missiles didn't work. I thought that was a tranquilizer gun. It softened him up. Yes. 
Oh, there we go. That's a that's an idea. It worked last time, so there we yeah, go. Yeah, it's the come only on, Ishmael. Missiles didn't work. Oh, so now water. A little, little kind of little theme come yeah, on there with water. the theme of water. Wait, you know he's got like a crown oh, of those thorns. Are bullets. Oh, those are bullets around his those head. Are bullets lodged in his head. Oh yeah, because he just gets shot all the time by tons of people. Yeah. Right, which I guess do actually go like he does get hit by the bullets, but they just they don't sort of stick there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Just got like, an outer lay of like armor. He, he gel. wears them as jewelry, essentially. All right. Heal. Oh God. Oh, so now they're using just, you. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. God. So what? You you've only broken not broken one limb at this point. No, you dislocated. Not broken. Okay, so you dislocate your arm, dislocate your leg. You have half an arm. Yep. But you got one leg that's okay still. I mean, you could dislocate the the, the shoulder you've got left. How come you get the gun? Give me the gun. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that might not be as effective as I wanted to be. I have half of both the things that are important for guns. <laughs> Scurrying all around down there. All right, there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay low, Ishmael. You take you take the brunt of the force. So that that whole scenario there just like got us one floor down from <laughs> the massacre in the hallway, through the hiding under the curtains, through being attacked by fire guy. I still I still miss the nurse. Honestly. Yeah, she was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you want to go? You want to go down there? I mean, honestly, I'd just, like, leap down there. It's, like, one floor. Yeah, that has to be safer. That's too bad. Then going yeah. down another hallway and dealing with hell knows what's going to go on over here. God, you've been stuck in this hospital for a long time. Right? Ooh. Oh, yeah. good shot. Well, that was effective. Let's see what's going on. Right, well, there's, like, you get the blood streak of fingers along the wall there. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. You, you check if it's safe. I'll, I'll, I'll just come out when you give me the okay, right? Mm-hmm. Let me know if you see a guy who's on, on fire. Yeah, yeah. Or a smaller guy wearing a trench coat with red hair. Yes. Anytime I see him, the demon always appears afterwards. Yep, they seem to be buddies. Sometimes. All right, all right. Seems pretty safe from coming out there. I want to join their team. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're cool and all, but they seem like they're on the winning team. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. The gun. Cool. All what right. What am I going to do with this? I got... I got you're fine. All right. What do you mean? You're solid. Or you're not solid. Snake. You're oh. Oh God. Here he comes. This whole. This whole I, I like how you just sort of like sigh for a moment and pass your. Well, shoot another uh, a thing out. Okay. Great. I, I, I'm trying to hit the things. Okay. Now in this game, you become the uh, like the Wild West fast drawer. Because unless you're aiming down sights, your gun just away. So it's L2 to pull out your gun, R2 to fire it? Correct. Okay. But you're supposed to do it in one, like, one quick motion. Oh, ah, sweet. How do I get the bullets on the thing? Huh? Uh, you don't know. No. No, no. That only happens, uh... Is this useful? When you go from sneak to alert. And you're just on constant alert. Alright. Oh, oh, wait, a weapon? Yeah, how do I pick that up? Circle. Hold circle. This is the first uh, game two, I believe. Oh. I don't remember if I. Wait, you so can do you this in five. only I have one or the other? Five. Four. I, I would just hold on to the pistol if those are the only two choices here. What? what? No, go for, the, go for the machine gun. You don't have to be sneaky. How do I reload? Well, yeah, circle. but. Circle. Okay. Like, bullet wise, they're about the same, and this is just much more precise. So it probably will kill more people. That's true, that's smart. Are you want to go for headshots? Headshots are real effective in this game. Got it. Okay, so we're at the just like real life. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, they're they're always effective, but body shots just are very not effective. Got it. Uh, okay. okay. Like people take like five or six body shots in this game or something. Yeah. Oof, no good. It's all the Kevlar. Well, yeah, that would do that. I mean, they also. Have, ooh. Okay, so we've reached the lobby, but it's full of assholes. And that will conclude this episode of Ten Royal Games. Can't wait to see you guys next week. We'll be here. Hope you are too. See you guys.